number five, four, Dr. Jian Yang. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Associate Minister of Education. What investment is the government making in Auckland schools to manage growth? The Honourable Nikki Kay. Tanakwe, Mr. Speaker. Tanakwe. Last week, the government confirmed that 51 schools will receive more than 230 new classrooms over the next 18 months to help meet increasing roles in Auckland. Last August, the Prime Minister and the government announced it would invest $350 million over four years to get ahead of demand in our biggest city. Projections indicate there could be 100,000 school students in Auckland over the next 30 years. These new modern classrooms are another example of our national-led government investing in young, pe young people in Auckland. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Jan Yang. What other work is underway to ensure appropriate schooling infrastructure in Auckland? <coughs> Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Nikki Kay. As well as new classrooms, the $350 million accelerated growth funding announced in 2014 provides for nine new Auckland schools by 2018. Two of these have already been confirmed in Cumu and Scott Point. Additionally, eight major school redevelopments have been announced so far in Auckland at the Garden School, Bayfield School, Walkworth School, Freemans Bay School, Sherwood School, Ellerslie School, Koru School, and Southern Cross Campus. Question number five, the Right Honourable Winston.